Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name is Acacia. Today I'm going to be doing a book review of The Wildlands by Abby Genie. This was sent to me by Counterpoint Press. It comes out in September of this year. I am very excited to talk about it, so let's dive in. This is the story of four siblings, but it mostly follows Cora, who is the youngest of the four siblings. Um, they are in a, in the very first chapter, they are in the midst of a level five tornado and the tornado takes their house and kills their father. Their mother is already dead and now these four siblings have to survive. In order to do so, the oldest of all the siblings decides to take advantage of the media and the press that is surrounding the tornado and gets a little bit of money that way. She leaves school, she starts to work at the local supermarket, and she starts to take care of the family and be the breadwinner. The brother, who is the second oldest, I believe, takes off and leaves the, the other three siblings in on their own. The three girls start living their lives on a regular, sort of more calm basis, and he goes off to find his way. As the story progresses, you find out that Cora really misses her brother and feels very strongly connected to him and she had a couple of adventures with him before he left that were a little more unconventional and left her feeling a little more adventurous herself and making her want to kind of wander and experience things. One night she sneaks out of the house and walks away and feels the ground rattle. She doesn't know what it is but she goes back home and settles into bed and then the next morning on the news it turns out that a very important factory in the town has been exploded and there are a loss of jobs and experiences and then her brother shows up and he wants her to come with him and leave school. Now she is only I believe nine or ten, I think nine or ten, and she leaves school and goes off on a road trip with her brother Tucker and she experiences her her life from there. Now I love Abby Genie as an author and I think my favorite book of hers is The Light Keepers. It has been, it always will be. I definitely don't think anyone can top that. It was incredible. Now this though was also a five-star read and absolutely brilliant. If I was comparing them as separate books, which I am, but like if I'm comparing them as the books side by side of like the author's work, The Light Keepers is a bit better. But if I'm comparing them just like as separate books, this is just fantastic anyway. Um, so I really loved this book. I enjoyed the pacing of it. I thought it was quick and easy and really quick like quite substantial and fun to follow. It wasn't a black and white scenario. It was definitely a gray kind of feeling. Um, you know what's going on with Tucker before Cora does because she's so young and looks up to him so much. So you understand before she does that something is amiss. And you're following this this girl and her brother and you're realizing more and more that he is doing some shadier things that are definitely dangerous for her. It talks about trauma, the experience of loss, the experience of grief, the experience of family, and the experience of love. Um, it's an overwhelming feeling of just enjoyment as far as a read goes. Um, I really recommend it. I think it's great. The thing about this book that I really loved the most though was Cora. I definitely thought she was a strong character. I will not forget her anytime soon. It's a great coming of age story for any reader who likes a coming of age story of young girls. Um, I definitely would recommend it. Um, the thing for me that sealed the deal on this one as not being better than the than the Light Keepers though was that it wasn't as focused on I don't want to spoil the light keepers. Mm. <laughs> um, it wasn't as focused on trauma in a way that made sense to me. Um, so if you're looking for a book that has more trauma in it, I would talk to or I would go to the light keepers. This has a kind of 
surface level trauma. Um, the tornado definitely causes a trauma and then the relationship of her brother leaving causes a trauma. But overall the relationship between her and her siblings is pretty solid. It just kind of has some ups and downs like any normal relationship and she leave and leaving her home is definitely a slap in the face to her sisters. So I would recommend this highly. I definitely think it's worth a pre-order. I would say this is worth getting in hardcover if you like Abby G and I's work. If you're not sure about Abby Genie, The Last Animal is out in paperback, which is her short story collection, and I believe The Light Keepers is now out in paperback as well. So if you're not sure and you want to start kind of slower, I would pick up one of her paperbacks first and then see if you like the writing style and then go to this. She has a very consistent writing style that is very lyrical and beautiful and really well done. I absolutely adore it and I would recommend it to anybody who likes coming of age stories and a little bit more grit and grime to their stories. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, click that subscribe button down below. And if you have any questions, comments, or quandaries, go ahead and leave them in the comment box. I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.